Hello everyone, this is Riku Keyblade Master, back once again with an update on my moving situation. I went today with my mom to complete a list of errands, and um, unfortunately, uh, it took a lot longer than I had initially anticipated. I would have been back sooner, so I apologize if it sounds like I'm out of breath. I just got done putting away all my laundry after getting it washed and dried. Man, I swear I had to put it through the dryer like three times. Man. Anyway, so here's the thing. It's crazy that... Uh, it's crazy how everything all went down. We started and we were waiting for quite a while for these people that were supposed to come and sign a lease. And it was like almost an hour and a half. So I rode with my dad to the bank and course we put the coins through the machine and um I was close once again my estimate I told my dad I said hmm I don't know dad it's probably gonna be in between somewhere in between 230 to 250 uh, 230 and 250 is uh It's either going to be in between $230 or $250. And he goes, okay, let's go in and check it out. And yeah, I was so close once again. I was super close once again. Uh, the first time I went, I was one off. The second time I went, though, my brother Marcelo went with and kind of threw off my game. So I couldn't, you know, take a good guess. And it just, I don't know, it just was like, it just was like really funny. My, my, I was so thrown off my A game that day. I don't know why. Uh, but then, you know, today, I redeemed myself, because, like I said, I said, Dad, I'm pretty sure, between 230 and 250, and I was so close, it was 244, I was right within the range, and my dad was like, what the, really? How do you keep doing that? I said, I really don't know. And I remember, I remembered a duel monster scene from the final duel uh, where Joey's like, can he see the future? Because if he can, I'd say that qualifies as an unfair advantage. And I remember, uh, when I, I remember when I used to duel against people, uh, you know, digital versions and whatnot, they're like, oh my god, I lost again to you? Can you, real, can you see the future? Because if you can, oh my god, that is totally unfair. You knew almost every single move I was gonna make. I'm like, I don't know. I just took a few guesses. As far as physical dueling, though, I can't. The cards aren't exactly. Um. The right size for me to see. I can't see very well, and. As it is, and. 
you know, I couldn't enlarge the card, so it's like, oh my gosh. You can't even... I can't even physically duel a person. I have to do it by, you know, digitally, because that's the only way I could actually see. And... Anyway, so we get back, and that's not the only crazy thing that happened to me. Like, my mom was trying to untangle her keys, and she couldn't get her keys untangled. And right when she said, you know, if you can't get the key unstuck, you know... I wouldn't waste too much time on it. And then, that's right, that's when I got it unstuck. All I had to do was wriggle it a few times. When that didn't work, I just messed with the, um, the paperclip looking clip that it was, uh, stuck in. I mean, when it started, it was really wedged in there. Like, mm, the equivalent of those those Chinese handcuffs trying to get your fingers out of them suckers. You know, that's about as hard as... It was really wedged in there, man. If I had a photo, I could show you how badly the key was wedged in between her other keys. And I don't even know how it got tangled like that. <laughs> well, anyway, one of the major things we went and did was took a look at my new house. And, you know, some rooms are still a mess, but that's because, you know, it's still going through the remodeling process. And, um... But... I went and looked at the downstairs bathroom. Looks pretty good. And it looks... And the cool part is, it's like... There's a little light underneath the... You know, where the faucet is. And at the rim of the faucet, there's a cute little light. And it's just adorable. Of course, you have to turn off the other lights in order to see it. It's just so cute. And, um, we're, we're going to keep a regular light bulb in, but where the fan is, we're going to put a colored light bulb in. It's going to be so cute. But we're going to do that, like, after we move in and everything. And, uh, what we're going to do in terms of kitchen table-wise, what was the kitchen is now the living room, and vice versa. You guys get the idea. The living room and the kitchen are pretty close, are, like, really close to each other. They're, like, right next to each other. And then, you know... The front door is where the kitchen slash living room is. And the back door is, um, the back door, it's pretty dangerous. Because you go, you get, you go down this one step and then there's the back door, but then you turn to what would be my left. And there's another staircase. That leads down into the basement I think. It's as far as what I saw. I didn't go any further than that. Um. But when I went upstairs however. To see how the staircase was. At first it was Okay. But then when I got to the top, I was like, oh, no. Spiral. I don't like these ones. Oh, no. This is not going to be good. And I told my dad's 
brother, he's one of the people working on the house, his name is Frankie, I told him, I said, well, let's just put it this way, long story short, I had some serious traumatic memories with staircases. Um, because there was a steep staircase in this apartment building that I was in ages ago that was, it looked like a house, but it had two apartments. And I'm not going to lie, it was so narrow that I fell... I fell down the damn thing. I don't even know how it happened. It just happened. Thankfully, I had the door closed, so the door was able to catch me. If not, oh man, I would have went into the counter and it would have been bad. Holy crap, you know. It's just that, that really would have been bad, and, and Frankie's like, oof, that's not good, yeah, no it's not, so I'm definitely looking into getting a chairlift for the stairs, because, you know, it'd be fine if, you know, the rest of the staircase was, you know, just straight. But no, it had to have that spiral end, and oh man. And don't be surprised if I seem lightheaded for the first few months, because it's been a while since I've been in a house that's more than one story, because my apartment is one story. Um, every apartment that I moved into besides that one apartment that I told you guys about, where I lived next to my grandma, because she lived in the other apartment. Oh my god. And my Aunt Chris is like, Nate, trust me, you're not the first one to have problems with those stairs. Andrea fell down them. I fell down them. Alicia fell down them. Even Keaton and Cam fell down them. So, yeah. Don't worry about it. You're not the only one with these issues with the staircase. Oh, man. It's always either, I either screw up one knee or both of my knees when that happens. Uh, that's why I'm just like, oh my god, I'm investing in a chairlift. I don't care. At the very least, the chairlift, you know, the acorn stairlift works even when the power goes out, it's like it's got a special generator built into it. So that's like the best part, to be honest. Because, like, say it's storming and the power goes out, and mom's like, Sis, where are you? I can say, Right here on the lift, mom. Should I go up or should I go down? You know? Because usually. She asked me where I am, and she's like, all right, stay there. Don't move. Or if I'm near the stairs, she'd be like, just go back into your bedroom. Don't, don't stay near the stairs. And it's crazy. And around... About, that reminds me, about moving back in with my parents, um, Frankie made a joke 
about my dad. And he's like, are you sure? Are you sure you want to move back in with these two, especially this one? <laughs> oh, man, you guys should have heard the funny arguments they had. Like, oh, man. But, oh, man, did the dust get in my eyes and cause my eyes to water, like, really bad. I could not handle it any further. I'm just like, mmm. So, yeah, I toured every single, um, part of the house except for, of course, the basement. Of course. Um, but hopefully, uh, it won't be too bad. The more I practice the staircases, it won't be too bad, but, you know, the spiral one, indefinitely, my mom is thinking about investing in a chairlift because... As soon as I walked up the stairs, my traumatic memory of the falls came back over and over and over again. I was so scared I was going to fall. I was... Mm. Like I said, it was fine until... You know, because I could put my hands on each wall. But then, when I got to the top and the spiral part, and I'm like, uh, no way. Oh my god, not this shit again. You know? So my mom's like, don't worry, honey, we'll just... We'll, we're definitely going to be getting a chairlift because, yeah, the staircase is pretty narrow. And it wouldn't be so bad if it was a little wider and it didn't have that stupid spiral top but it's just the way the house was built which it was a dumb decision to build it that way but whatever you know I can understand like a spiral basis like in the middle or like you know if they built it like how the other staircase was in the one apartment I told you guys I lived in. Where they had one staircase and then they had a landing. That was a decent size. And then you turn the corner and then there's the other part of the staircase. The only problem was the stairs were so narrow that, you know... Well, actually, no. That staircase... Yeah, that staircase had that. And then when I got to the... When I got to the bottom staircase... That was, like, kind of close to the door. That's when I lost it and that's when I fell. Because I don't know what happened. I think my ankle came out on me or something or my knee did. And, oh, God, I'm not prepared for that shit again. After that, uh, you know, of course, while during all of that, I told you guys how uh, we were preparing the transition to placing, to having to place my dad's mom, a.k.a. Grandma B, Maureen Bartles, uh, into a nursing home. I told you guys about that. And we went and signed the applications. And that's another reason we went there is to get Frankie's signature. Because uh, my dad and Frankie are the only ones that wanted, wanted anything to do with her. Because of something that happened in the past where 
They lived in the junkyard, so it was deemed an unfit area. So the kids got taken away. Once Jim became of age, once my dad became of age, he sort of took charge and sort of took custody of his own brothers and whatnot, you know? And she was, she was okay back then, but then, you know, everything started going way, way, way. I want to say about a year or two after the bad impression she left on me. Things started going way, way, way downhill. Meaning she wasn't all there. She was slowly losing it. And it's getting to the point where... You know, they're finally listening to me. They're finally realizing, you know, they have no choice. You know... I mean, I tried my best not to give up on her either, but, you know, when someone leaves a nasty impression on you without apologizing before it was too late, you tend to really kind of get fed up and just want to throw your hands up and just, you know... I'm done with it. Enough's enough. You know, like, I wasn't harping at him for my health, you know. I was trying to do what was right for her. I was just trying to do right by her, even though she didn't do right by me. Does that make sense? I knew what was best for her, but, you know, part of me was also kind of stubborn. I didn't want to, you know, give up on her, but I knew when enough was enough. So, while my mom went to the dollar store, got some groceries for me. Um, which I managed to get my hands on some Valentine's Day chocolate hearts. Like two or three bags of them. Soon I'll get my hands on some of those pastel M&M's. My favorite is definitely peanut. I tried the new brownie ones, uh, last year. Too much brownie, not enough M&M. You know... It's like they might as well made the whole thing a brownie. Instead of... Might as well made the whole thing an egg-shaped brownie. Instead of it being an M&M. In other words, I thought they were going to taste okay. But... Boy, was I wrong. Oh my god, did I regret that. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section below. I know it's a lot to take in. Trust me, it was a lot to take in for me too. But I just wanted to keep you guys updated and make sure we were all on the same page. Now I know why I'm not moving in until the end of March. Um, because they still got a lot of work to do, and oh boy, it's a lot. I mean, they did get a bit done, but, I mean, it's still a lot. My dad's like, you should have seen how it was before. Like, the whole place had holes in it, it's just, mmm... You would not have wanted to have fucking walked in there. 
I said noted. Honestly, I can picture it. It's like, I didn't say this part to him, but I was thinking it's like walking into, like, um, a, a cheese-related area, because, you know, cheese has those craters in it. You know, those holes sometimes. Especially, like, the Swiss cheese and, like, how you see on Tom and Jerry and stuff. Oh, man. But, yeah. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, I know this was a lot to take in. But, it was a lot to go over as well. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't skimp on any details. I didn't want to leave anything out. Because I care about you guys too much not to leave anything out. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you next time. Comment, rate, subscribe to become a Keyblade wielder. And no doubt, stay awesome as usual. You guys are the best. And also, thank you to the newest subscribers once again. Atem and Taya, thank you for your subscription. And, um, Frankie also gave me a subscription as well. Thank you, Frankie. I cannot thank you enough. I appreciate it, my friend. Comment, rate, and subscribe to become a Keyblade Wilder. And stay awesome as usual. Peace, and I love you all.